So what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, QuestX, coming back at you once again with another video. And I want to talk about Jim Acosta, CNN, and their lawsuit that they filed today. And it, apparently it's not looking good for Donald Trump in the White House. Um, the judge wanted to expedite this trial very, very quickly. Um, and it seems when I was going over the transcripts, because if you can go online and you can look at what it is the CNN is um, arguing against, I'm going to tell you right here. I'm going to just be very blunt here. Um, for the Trump supporters, for Fox News fans, you better hope and pray that Donald Trump wins this, this argument. It doesn't look like he will, but, you know, hey, this is America and anything can happen. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you right now, if Donald Trump loses this trial, if this lawsuit that was filed by CNN is deemed a victory for CNN, that's it. All bets are off. All those um, publications that were very nice to Donald Trump or they kissed Donald Trump's ass or they made it out as if Donald Trump was the end all and be all because they were afraid of this very action, I'm going to tell you right now, okay, you MAGA supporters, you, oh, Donald Trump 2020, okay, all you guys, shut the fuck up, sit down, sit, the adults are talking right now, if he loses in this case, okay, that's being brought forth, and I'm going to tell you right now, based on the preliminary uh, readings, they have a very, very strong case, CNN that is, against Donald Trump, especially with that fucking doctored video that they released, okay? I'm a, if you don't think that, um, uh, what's her name, Sanders, is not the, 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 the uh, PR, the, 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 the person who comes to the American people on a daily basis, well, not even a daily basis, because they haven't had actual um, White House uh, addressings in, like, what, week to two weeks, almost damn near a month, okay? Um, Sarah Sanders, if you think that Sarah Sanders is going to keep her job, no, 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 because this is going to be a massive L, another L on the face of Donald Trump. Um, let me be very, very clear to you, Trump supporters. If he loses this case and Jim Acosta shows up, okay, next week or the week after next, and he is asking the president questions, okay, this is the effective end of any sort of publication supporting Donald Trump. When I tell you that this could not have gone any better than I predicted for the dismantling of his presidency, I, I, I really can't. I, I, there's no other way I can kind of break it down to you guys. Everything is working out exactly the way I pictured it. He loses the House. Damn near he loses Senate seats, it's looking like. He then loses the support and the people. Now we have news media outlets talking about that he's losing support amongst the veterans. Okay? He loses independence. He loses women, suburban women. He loses. He's just a fucking loser. Okay? And all you Trump supporters who went, oh, yeah, MAGA, 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 MAGA. Yeah, I'm going to hang me a nigger. Oh, I'm going to get me a nigger. Oh, fuck you niggers. Like, all you guys who sat there and, and, and just rallied the troops, right? I always want to go back to a, a line that was written in The Dark Knight. And it's when the Joker is inside the interrogation room and he says, and, and I've said this in the other videos, and, I, and this is for my newbies. He says, does it depress you to realize just how alone you the fuck are? Because you are alone. At, at this point in the, and, and, and at this stage, okay, we're about to see a change in the Democratic Party. Nancy Pelosi will not be the speaker of that, of, uh, uh, or she will not be the, let's say, the standard for the Democratic Party any longer, okay? With the new wave of people that's coming in, you have the Republicans who are now starting to sit there and see that, oh, shit, yeah, we're not going, we're not going to jump off that cliff with you, Donald Trump. Uh, you can take that shit to the bank by yourself, 
Okay, and all you dumbasses who wore those red MAGA hats, who sat there and was like, oh, I want to make America great again. I want to be able to wear my goddamn KKK mask. I want to run around. And I want to tell women what to do. I want to sit there and beat the hell out of my wife and fuck my daughter and tell all these niggers and black bastards to go to hell. Like all you dudes are by yourself, by yourself. Okay, do you want to know what the last line of defense for Donald Trump is? Do you, do you really want to know? And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Do you know when you'll lose this last line of defense? So let me let me start off with it. The first, the last line of defense for Donald Trump is the evangelical base. Do you know where the evangelical base will go? They will go with whoever the Republican Party set forth as somebody who can lead them into 2020. Do you really think, based on now, with his performance in overseas towards the veterans, okay, to lose veteran support, do you know how bad you have to fucking be as a Republican? Oh, my Lord. Whoever else the Republican Party sets forth as being the leader of the Republican Party will gain the evangelical vote. It's your boy Quest X. Shout out to the whole LDBC politi- political analyst. Shout out to anybody who supported me from the very beginning. Like I told you, motherfuckers, what was going to happen. And I'm out. Peace.